My name is Christy Lamandry. I was uh, first diagnosed December 13th, I believe. Um, I'm HER2 positive, stage 3A. I began my treatment on January 11th with chemotherapy, immunotherapy for uh, four and a half months. I had chemo, immunotherapy, and then I uh, went straight into first surgery. I had the left breast mastectomy. Um, a month after my chemo, after the surgery, I waited about five weeks and then I had um, about six weeks of radiation with Dr. Zacharis, who's the bomb. And then the radiation was like my extra insurance. I had a 20% chance of reoccurrence. With the radiation, it dropped to 5%. Now I'm just waiting. I'm having my immunotherapy every three weeks for the full year and I'm just waiting for all of the radiation to heal before I have my reconstruction big surgeries which will probably be after the first of the year. I wore the cool cap so I kept most of my hair but I have to say I was the person who had crazy amounts of hair to begin with so if my hair was really thin I, I don't know if it would have all stayed in. So I wore that for about six or seven hours. It was not easy for sure. Dr. Zachariah he told me to put my hands and feet in ice during my treatment which prevented me from having any neuropathy. I can't say enough good things about this hospital and the doctors. I just think that they're all very caring. They just, they, they know what they're doing and they're caring. And I didn't find that any of them had egos so big that they wouldn't listen to what I had to say because I'm not someone who would ever really want to treat with chemotherapy. I, I said I would never do it. My father passed away of colon cancer three years ago and the chemo really took his life at the end. <clears throat> it was a big deal for me to go through with the treatment. But my cancer is very aggressive, so I didn't want to wait around. To reiterate how grateful I am to have had such amazing doctors here, support um, from all of my chemo nurses to um, the radiation nurses and the radiation techs and um, Danielle who helped me with my cool cap, which came in every time and help me get it on right and um, I'm just very grateful and blessed. I have so many blessings from this. I tell people all the time that as scary and as horrible as cancer has been and it is it's very difficult. It's been more of a blessing for sure. I mean just being for myself I was more of a closed off person before. It just changed me as a person and I just really want to give that back to other people. So anyone that has breast cancer or any type of cancer, I immediately, my feelings are, call me. I can, you know, give you any, any advice that I've learned through my journey. And that's really my passion right now. So that's what cancer has done for me. And just to appreciate life. I mean, it's so cliche, you know, you really appreciate life and don't sweat the small stuff, but it's a whole different the, the, the way I experience life is completely different now, and it's really amazing. I'm, I'm so lucky. I'm more than a survivor, of course. Well, I'm, I'm a mother, I'm a wife. Um, I hope to be, I would like to be an educator and someone to inspire and help support other people.